This program is not suitable for persons under the age of 18. Please do remember to cannabis responsibly at all times. Welcome to another episode of podcast. I'm sitting here with the ever magnificent Mr. Khan <laughs> from Prof. De Beer. How are you? Very well, thanks. And yourself, Thank I you very am, much. I'm glad to hear that. Khan, please just let people know what Prof. De Beer is. And I also know you have the THC uh, uh, educational, or is it the uh, pharmacy? Yeah, pharmacy, yes, that's yeah, great. Yeah. Can you please just uh, go into that and explain what Prop the Beer is and what THC is? Sure, no problem. So, uh, Mo, what, what we essentially are is the first viable legal access to medicinal cannabis that contains THC and CBD um, in flower form in Africa and South Africa. We are locally based and we're provided by a local producer mm-hmm. and we are the first of our company. So, on the Prop the Beer side, what we have is an uh, educational system that takes you through the licensing process to make you understand cannabis, what it's about, what it can do for you, medically how it's good for you. And then from there we apply to the government and we get you a medicinal cannabis bar. I'm sure you, you've seen them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once you've got that medicinal cannabis part, you're like, okay, cool, so I've been registered, what do I do now? Mm-hmm. Um, the other arm of this business is then THC Africa, which falls then with THC Pharmacy. Mm-hmm. And specifically, like we say, what we do is what our name says is what we do. Yeah. We dispense THC and CBD products and legally through the medicinal cannabis class. So yeah. We are the first of our cool. kind, and that is the entity of the pharmacy. They are the cannabis exactly. dispensers. Yeah. And um, a lot of people keep arguing with me because I keep talking about you guys, but a lot of people keep arguing with me saying that. THC is not legal in South Africa, and I keep saying Prop the BI has received their licenses. They can actually sell, or let's just say, distribute um, uh, their THC strains through the medicinal cart, right? That is correct. So, can you explain how you got to get these licenses? Right. So, looking at the medical avenue of cannabis, um, there is a system that we follow uh, that goes through SAPRA that allows us to register you to use an unregistered medicine like cannabis that contains the THC. Okay. So THC is the unregistered medication, mm-hmm. all right. but brought in through this process, it then gets listed under a Schedule 6 substance. It does not mm-hmm. register as a Schedule 6 substance, but it is controlled under Schedule 6 substances. Okay. So what we do is we align you up with the doctor, the doctor must prescribe the cannabis for you, we handle that entire process. So mm-hmm. we take your information, we build your document for the government for SAPRA, we then put you in line with the doctor, we get the doctor to prescribe for you, uh, understand what it is that you're using cannabis to treat, and from there apply, once we've received the approval, I'm then able to give you the card and then dispense. So through the medical processes, cannabis with THC is accessible. Mm. Oil at this present moment in time is very touchy. Um, Mm. The licenses around it are very, very uh, sensitive. And edibles is even further down the line because yeah. you know, there's, there's even further licenses that you have to go for that. But at this present moment, we have access and licensing to be able to distribute and dispense cannabis flower that contains THC. That is correct. That is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. I know it was a very long process. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. So you said that people come here, obviously you align them with the doctor that they're able to get the, what you call this, the card, and then they'll be able to get their, their, their cannabis. That is great. So does the card then say um, how much cannabis they can have, or is there a limit for an individual to have? Uh, um, how much grams is one supposed to have in a month? Right, so yeah. the, the doctor actually prescribes that for you. And the allotment at the present moment in time is four grams a day for 30 days. So your allotment is 120 grams a month. 120. That's okay. correct. So as an example, let's say you've, you've got the card, you open up your allotment, you've used 60 grams. Yeah. It does not continue to the next month to say you have 180 grams now. Yeah. Your allotment of 120 starts again. So it's yeah. the same as any other prescription process. Okay. The difference is, is that every 30 days, you need a script mm-hmm. to be redone by the doctor. So we put those processes in place mm-hmm. because that is schedule six process. Okay. And that lasts then for six months and every six months we renew your card. Okay. So every six months you're seeing the doctor again, you're going through everything. We collect the information through the education center on how the treatment's going, how you're feeling. Uh, it's, it's a very broad based thing, but uh, 120 grams per person every 30 days. Okay, can they explain the, what you call the cost and the membership? 
Because right. I know you have to be a member and everything. Can you explain that? So, initially when we actually started speaking to you, there's been a few developments since then. Okay. Uh, the nice part is, is that there's actually no more application fees. Uh, really? Yes. Initially, it was a thousand seven hundred and fifty rand per person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've managed to find a medicinal sponsor, uh, private, but uh, they've got involved to say, right, we will cover the costs of the application. Okay. Uh, and you can now give access to people for free. So oh there are no goodness. more application fees. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> there are no more, no more application fees. fees. So come to Prop the Beer. Come yes. to Prop the Beer and become a member. Well, you're going to go to Mo. <laughs> come to Mo, actually, yes. Go. So everybody must come and your promo code should be podcast. 100%. Podcast. Exactly that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And okay. uh, that's actually what's helped us to also start developing business in this end. You know, uh, not everybody has the money to fork out to get into this business, never mind to get the cannabis part. Uh, we know things, COVID's caused a lot of things at the present moment. And yeah. one of those things is financial strength. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And thank goodness for this sponsor mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we are able to now do this. And there is still ways to venture into business through this with us. So, mm -hmm. um, podcast being one of them, <laughs> one of our affiliates to continue going further, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. We want you to be able to give the accessibility to people and the education. I mean, that's yeah. what, that is what your show is based on, that is what your past are based on. Exactly. And uh, I've seen the traditional healing, there's now us that are falling into the pharmaceutical and medical Yes. Uh, it's all about education and that's, that's really what we are trying to bring to South Africa. Mm -hmm. um, we do know cannabis is available, but this is the right way yeah. for yeah. cannabis at yeah. this present moment in time. That is awesome. Can you please show us Absolutely. the strains? Can yes. one decide what strains they want? Uh, I know you guys do mainly indoor, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> can one say what they want or you, uh, according to what the doctor has prescribed, um, can then one discuss with the doc doctor and say, I would actually want, let's say for example, Swazi or something like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't do uh, any outdoor cannabis. Outdoor cannabis is too difficult to control in terms of pesticides and growth and uh, cross-pollination and all of that. So any cannabis that we do do is from an indoor type environment yes but we have two different sectors which is greenhouse and indoor cannabis mm -hmm. and that's broken up into four different categories so we have a 50 rand and 80 rand 100 rand and 150 rand category yes uh, your two bottom tier portions are your greenhouses and your two top tier portions are your indoor commercial and then exotic or what you call high in medicinal grade yeah. uh, market relations called exotic lights but uh, it, it's, it provides the extra flavor terpenes and profiles that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of that, at the present moment, we have nine available strains in indoor at the pharmacy. Okay. And we have four available greenhouse strains, mm -hmm. uh, two from each category, and then the nine only. We do not have any of the commercial at the moment. We are waiting for the big farm to uh, split that up for us. Okay. So at this present moment, we're in 50, 80, and 130 red category, uh -huh. but that's where we are sort of capped at. We don't want to go any further over that, you know, we still want to keep it affordable as a medicine. But that's still a lot though. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, can you please show us yes, the sure. strains? And what strain is this? Right, so this is our Kelly Orange, all right? So you'll see that it is branded over there. Ah. Okay, the pharmacy then prints out a sticker that goes over there, which has your details on it, your script number. Can and I show that? It. Sure, yeah. no problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can continue. Right. And then what you'll find is also on here you have the, the supply chain, which is the license facility, Prof. to be in THC Africa, which obviously the license facility is handling this. And then there is quantities and batch numbers and license numbers that come with So as long as we have those on here, we are able to track and trace the cannabis, which is the most important part. Okay, yeah. Can you explain that part? Yes. Right. Before we open it up, yes. <laughs> 100 percent Now what, what we need is the card is there for a license reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, as an example, if you want to drive a car in South Africa, you need a driver's license to drive in South Africa. Right. Mm -hmm. If you own a vehicle, that vehicle has a VIN number. Mm -hmm. Right. These packages come with their own VIN numbers, which are batch numbers. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens is if a specific customer buys this, that batch number will be in that sticker that comes over there from yes. the pharmacy. Okay. And if there is a specific problem, we are able to take that code, track and trace it back to its original lifespan at the license facility which would be at CBD for Spectrum. And this is all available to us, which is what makes the system legal. Yeah, is yeah. the fact that from the start to the sale, yeah. we, are have a, we have an entire track and trace system. Okay. And that's the most important part. Mm. The packaging has to be done to a GMP standard, so you need to meet specific requirements. Uh, and then also you'll find when I pull the tray out now, you'll see everything is in half grams. The reason okay. why is because uh, the health bodies require you that you have a dosage volume. 
Okay. All right, so <clears throat> we have a childproof lock, which is nice. Mm. You can't really keep this open. You'll see, I'll try to open it. Okay. Let me, let me. You can go for it. Hold, please hold <laughs> yes, it. Yes, I'm going to take that. I don't know why okay. I think I can do it, but you can't. <laughs> you? I, I can't. You try it. Right. Let me hold your mic. Yes. So, there's a little sleeve. Ah. And it pops open. Right. Okay. And then inside, you will find your beautiful tray. So. I gotta showcase this. Guys. Go. Like, this is so sexy. <laughs> this is very sexy. That there is a 14 gram tray. 14 it's, gram tray. It's made up of 28 half gram pop outs. Uh huh. And that is 28 half gram pop outs of Kelly Orange. Kelly Orange? Yes. It is and, one and of the nine strains that we currently have on there. This is beautiful. And then this one is... This is Sunpain. This okay. is one of my favorites. Uh, if you don't mind grabbing that for me, sorry. This is the smaller one also. Comes back to the same story. Childproof sleeve. Ah, open. Okay. And this little design, this is one of my favorites, as you can see, sorry. The bags are different sizes. I see that. Yeah, which see is that. quite cool. Uh, nice more pocket size, if you want to call it. And this is how this one comes. This is your favorite. This is one of my favorites. Absolutely, this and bitter cherry punch. <laughs> Absolute one of one of my favorites. So this is the extra sleeve ring, so that you can just keep everything fresh and sealed inside. Oh, okay. And for extra safety feature, now these are all GMP requirements that you have to meet in order to export this. And now tell me, how so long would something back. like this, let's say, last an individual? Right. Because I'm sure people are going to say, ah, it's so small. You know what I'm saying? But, how, how long does something like this That there, last? according to the doctor, is a one, gra is a one day um, amount. That is four grams inside there. One day? That is one day. This is one day. Right. Uh, mm. That is eight half gram pop-outs. Uh -huh. And the doctor uh, prescribes one, four gram, uh, one gram four times a day. Yeah. Right. So you'll be having two of these pop-outs four times a day. Oh, okay. So this would last you one day. That over there would last you three days. Oh, and oh. still save you in case you can't make it on the fourth day. Three days this week. <laughs> okay. Right. So, and then um, the entertainment industry, you and I were just talking, you were saying that they are reaching out. Yes. <laughs> uh, we, we have a lot of interest, uh, interest from the entertainment industry. Mm. Uh, we've got a lot of music artists, actors, um, mm. uh, actual artists in terms of painting and uh, decorative art. People are reaching out to us to say, look, we want to get involved with the cannabis industry. Uh, there, there's a lot that goes along with it. Uh, a lot of them, uh, you know, the entertainment industry has taken a very serious knock. It's also put a lot of artists and stuff in instead of tight positions, and they are turning to cannabis as alternatives. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they, they really want to get involved. They want to help others. Mm -hmm. um, they, they obviously see that there's growth within the entertainment industry and cannabis, so, you know, worldwide. You can see that this is happening. There's yeah. There's all yeah. sorts of artists doing all sorts of things all over yeah. the world. And there's no reason why South Africa shouldn't take advantage of that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, these artists have realized this. Uh, we've got some nice highliners coming our way. Yeah, I'm sure I you've saw seen that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, e even on the acting front, we've got uh, one or two very nice, well known South African actors that are pulling in to be like, you know, we use cannabis and it helps us to get through our stressful lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, it, it's easier for us to treat and medicate. And okay. we have the nice options. I mean, we have a nice, smellless, uh, smokeless option which is vaporizing we've got dry, uh, dry herb handheld vapes which yeah. are fantastic to use and this is what people are looking at it's self-medication no congratulations Kyle Thank you. on all your success and remember podcast so you first have to go to the podcast YouTube channel click that subscribe button and like button and then when you come here you need to come here with your promo code podcast okay 100% agreed Thank you Kyle <laughs> Thank you very much man. <laughs>